I'm really bad at this. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's vlog, I thought I would make it quite fun and talk about Australian slang words. We've obviously been here eight months now and I've definitely picked up some words and also used some words that Australians find very strange. And I thought it'd be quite fun to just let you all know if you're watching from the UK, then you'd be interested in knowing which words are different from for us to Australians. And then also if you're Australian watching this, then some of the words that I've obviously Put out there and Australians have questioned me on. So the very first one for me is the word lorry. So in the UK a lorry to me is a big road truck that travels and carries lots of things and you see them on basically every road and motorway in the UK. So where we live we also have lots of lorries going about and when I mentioned this to one of the mums at my playgroup they questioned me on what I meant by lorry and for reference this is what a lorry looks like to me and obviously they are very similar here however much bigger the lorries here are huge like they are huge I don't even know how they fit on the road however when I explained this we I was basically told that the word truck is used here a lot, so trucks, or if they're carrying more than two trailers, then it's called a road train, which to me, I've never heard this word in my life, road train. Basically a train that is on the road is what I think in my head. It does make sense because any more than two trailers looks like lots of carriages, but yes, lorry is definitely a UK word and road train, I would say, is definitely an Aussie word. Number two, I would say is quite a fun one. We use the word hoover. So if I'm going to hoover the living room or I'm going to hoover the couch, hoover the carpet, I think the word here is pretty much vacuum. So they say, I'll vacuum that. Um, not really much different. I would know exactly what you were talking about if you said that. But again, hoover is definitely a word that I would use more so than vacuum. Number three, I have touched on this before in one of my previous vlogs, but the word lollies, I just can't get my head around it. For me, that is a lollipop. Sweets is something that we would use for any gummy sweet or any like marshmallow or Haribo. Any gummy sweet really is probably the only word I can say, whereas Australians are lollies. And for me, a lolly is a lollipop. So that's a word I'm definitely struggling with, especially when we're at playgroup. I always say I'll bring some sweets and I'm not sure if maybe Australians would think that that's maybe more of a dessert. You know how you would use a dessert or a pudding or a sweet. I'm not sure. I'm sure someone will let me know in the comments below, but certainly the word lollies for sweets is something I am definitely struggling with. So the next one is actually a word that I have used quite a few times and I've basically understood that it's not really a word that is used here and the word is good shout. So for me, if if I give you an example, if someone was saying, I'm going to go to the shop before I arrive at playgroup tomorrow and I'll get us some lollies, then my response would usually be, that's a good shout or yeah, that's a good shout. <laughs> this is really hard to put it into context, but basically the word good shout for me means that's a good idea. I like that. Good shout, yep, like that idea. It's very hard to explain, but it's a word that I would just use within a sentence. And I think here, <laughs> when I said this, the girl that I said it to was like, who's, who's shouting? <laughs> what does that mean, who's shouting? And it's not until somebody questions you on it that you realise the word itself, good shout, yeah, you're not shouting. <laughs> There's nothing to shout about. But yeah, it's just a word that we've used for years and I'm not sure if there's one here. Far out. Far out is a word that I have heard so many times and I just can't bring myself to use it just yet. But I think good shout and maybe not. I feel like far out is more no way. Wow. Like far out. <laughs> it doesn't matter how many times I say this. I don't sound the same but I've heard it and I feel like it's almost the same thing like no way good shout totally different I know what far out means I do know what it means I just can't bring myself to use it yet 
Again, I have touched on this before, but Australians love to shorten words. So things like an ambo is an ambulance, a servo is a service station, and then my latest one is devil. So if somebody is devil, it means they are <laughs> devastated. And I actually find this hilarious and I love listening to the different words that they use and trying to figure it out for myself what that means. The majority of the time it's really not hard to do because the sentence itself explains. So if someone says, wow, it's absolutely devil at that, then I think that would probably, I'm sure I asked about that and then I clicked that it would be devastated. But if someone said, yeah, call for an amble, I would know that they meant call for an ambulance. Again, servo wasn't one that I knew straight away, but over time, if someone says, I'll pop into the servo, service station you you do start to pick it up after you've been here for a few months anyway then the next one i asked someone in our local Woolworths. i was looking for some kitchen roll and the person wasn't too sure on what i was talking about and then i explained to clean up um and it literally was like a long toilet roll you pull it out and you clean up the kitchen and they said a ah, paper towel so again, if someone asked me for a paper towel, I would know that it was kitchen roll, but maybe not the same the other way. Um, sometimes the words like, for example, tin foil can be used different. I know in America it's al aluminium foil. They don't say that. And I can't even think of the word how they say aluminium, but I know some words are different, but you would be able to pick them up. Um, so for me, it's quite hard trying to think of what the Australian version of that is. And something like paper towel is obviously very simple, but when you are looking for it in the grocery store, that's when things become quite difficult. Another phrase that you do hear a lot here is, how are you, go how are you going? How are you going? They say it so fast. And how are you going? It's basically just a, hi, how are you? It doesn't always necessarily require an answer. And I always say, I'm great, thank you, how are you? And people are so friendly here. They love when you chat to them anyway, but it's more of just a greeting phase, phrase than it is a question. So how are you going just means, hi, how are you? And then you just continue on. It's just a nice phrase, um, but it's one that I definitely hear a lot here. Also, for reference, Good day, mate, is something that I very rarely hear here. I don't know if it's maybe certain areas or certain states, but it's one of those stereotypical words that I think people assume every Australian says. They don't, and I haven't heard anyone say it, nor have I felt the need to ever say it. Um, however, I'm sure there are people that do say it. It's just one of the words that I think, yeah, people assume everyone says it, and they don't. Now there are a few other words I have picked up on my way and I thought it would be quite fun to actually question some of the family on these and really just understand if they know the words or if maybe it's me that's saying them wrong. So let's go and find out who knows what. Okay, so what we're going to use to colour in? Where's a colour in marker? A colour in markers. Can you go get my texter? What, what's a texter? A texter is a pen. Oh, no pain. Could you get mummy a juice box? Mm -hmm. No, a, a juice box. What's a juice box? <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you. This. This is what Australians call a juice box. What would we call that? Cup of juice. Carton of juice. Cup. Carton of, of juice. Yeah, we've got sun cream on you, then, you man. Yeah. Right here. Sun cream. Oh, Yoon, see when you're in there, could you get me a texter? Okay, I guess I'll see you tomorrow morning. Yeah, sounds Are you going to wear pants today? Hi, hi. <laughs> How is it too hot? That's a weird question. What a uh, weird question. That's a weird question. Well, you're in Australia. Aye. 
So what is pants in Australia? Trousers. <laughs> so you're not going to wear pants today. <laughs> right. Another one is cordial. We call this diluting juice in the UK. Um, or if you're from England, it tends to be squash. Um, but yes, we are definitely diluting juice, which is something I don't feel that you get as much of here. Um, you tend to get a lot of, like, just juice. So obviously this would just, you just pour this straight into a cup. Um, but in terms of, yeah, diluting juice, I feel like there's not a huge range here. And also in the UK, you get, like, double strength. Um, and I feel like there's every flavour. But here it tends to be cordial. You get, obviously, your... Um, like standard ones like your apple, blackcurrant, orange, so more than enough for what we need, but definitely something different here to the UK. Ayla, could you get me your runners? What? Your runners? <laughs> your runners, your sneakers. Yeah. Yeah? That's all me. Yay! Well done! Well done. So what have we got? Your sneakers. What do we call them? Trainers. Your trainers. That's right. So what would we call this, Isla, back home? Swimsuits. Your swimsuits. Do you know what to call it here? No. This is your bathers. Or your bathers. swimmers. Bathers. Or your swimmers. Swimmers. As we know it in the UK, this is a swimsuit. But here they are called bathers or swimmers, which we have picked up pretty quickly. Ayla, what would you call this? A lolly. A lolly. And what would you call this? Sweet. Oh, sweet. 30 sweet. Or what? 16 sweets. And whether you 30 or 16. 16 sweets? Yeah. Yeah? So you would call these sweets and these lollies? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know that in Australia they call these lollies and these lollies? Sweet. <laughs> so I hope you have enjoyed this video. It's just a little fun one. It's words that we have picked up and we're actually now starting to use. Ayla, especially with being at daycare, she knows all the Australian words and sometimes she even corrects me. And then obviously with Ewan being at work, he's picking up on all the words as well. And maybe it's me that needs to be more up to speed. But I hope you have enjoyed it. If there are any other words that you think we may come across, please leave them below. I would rather know about them than be caught out. But as always, thank you for watching and I hope to see you all in my next video.